Are you ready? Hey peeps, how's it going? And uh, tonight we got Green Bay versus Philadelphia. We're going to talk about that here in a second and what that could mean for the Detroit Lions. Um, but before we hop into that, the Detroit Lions have not played all that great. They, you know, could be playing better, but at the end of the day, they are getting the most important thing in the league, and that is W's. Have I been happy with their performances? No, no, I haven't. A lot of you guys think I'm being too hard on the Lions. Okay, maybe a little bit, but that's only because I have high expectations for this team. I can see the talent and the potential for this team. You can't tell me that there's a single team in our division that is that much better than the Lions. You can't, because the Lions have all the talent in the world from every position. It's a deep team. It's a good team. And had they performed or executed the way I I've, I've, would like them to, and as many of you would like them to, no. But, you know, when it matters, in almost every single game, except for the other seven I won, but I don't want to keep dwelling on that game. And, Char and the LA Chargers and the Philadelphia games, when it mattered, when the game was in the balance, and either one of the Chargers or the Eagles were about to gain momentum or potentially win the game, the Lions came up, got a good defensive stop, and performed what they needed to to get the W. Now, should they have been in those positions? No. But, again, they're winning these games, and that's all I care about. I don't care if it's pretty. I don't care if it's super ugly. I just want victories. And when we're getting those, I can't complain that much. Um, however... Let's talk about what this Eagles versus Packers game potentially could mean for the Lions. If the Eagles can beat the Packers, I think that would show the world that the Packers aren't as good as they seem or that the Lions are just that good. Now, I, look at, I looked at the uh, league that Luke G has for us. Um, I'm sure many of you are in it as well, where you pick the, the teams per week who you think is going to win. And I looked at it today, just to double check to see if I picked the team I wanted to pick. And uh, Green Bay is like a 90% favorite. They're not really giving Philadelphia much of a shot. And I'm not sure if Agnew, or not Agnew, yikes, I'm going to get there in a minute. <coughs> I'm going too fast. I'm not sure if Deshaun Jackson or uh, Alshon Jeffrey are going to play or not. And that's going to be a key factor because Aguilar, you've seen the guy in the news conference, and they're not very happy with him in Philly. It's going to be a big game for the Lions, believe it or not, because it's going to show you how good they played against Philadelphia. It's going to show you how good this team really is when um, you beat a team in the same conference that's playing someone in your division at their place and you beat that team in theirs. It's going to be a very interesting game. Um, I would watch that game very closely if I were you. Um, it's going to tell you a lot about your Detroit Lions. Um, if Green Bay blows them out, then you might start looking at Green Bay and thinking, yeah, they're going to be they're going to be for real. Um, it's going to be a very tough race for these Lions to win this NFC North because everyone looks super good in our division. This is probably one of the toughest divisions um, just all around. All four teams have a shot of making the playoffs and winning the division. Uh, right now, you can't predict anyone as a lock to win the division. However, I have gone on record, and I'll say it again. If the Detroit Lions can beat the Kansas City Chiefs this Sunday, they are going to win the NFC North title. Take it to the bank, cash your checks. It's, it's going to happen. And I have a good sense of how things can go off of one single game. I said it last year for the Detroit Pistons. 
Um, not sure how many of you guys follow the Pistons that like the Lions, uh, but the, for an example, the Pistons were struggling on this crazy losing streak, and they looked terrible like they weren't going to make the playoffs. Um, we go to LA, where Blake got traded from, and I said if the Detroit Pistons go here and win this game, they're going to make the playoffs. And would you know, it was a tough, hard-fought game, and the Pistons came out on top, and they made the playoffs. However, this is different. I'm not just saying the Lions are going to make the playoffs. If they beat the Kansas City Chiefs, they're going to win the division. Because it's going to be very tough, very, very tough uh, to beat the Chiefs. The Chiefs are a Super Bowl contender. And that's what separated these guys from the Chargers and the Eagles. Those guys are playoff contenders. This is where we want to be as an organization. We want to be compared to the Chiefs, um, to New England, to those guys that are essentially Super Bowl favorites. Not too many people are picking outside of those guys in the AFC to go to the Super Bowl. I think Baltimore might be a shocker, but those are where we're trying to get to. We're trying to get on that level where you can compare us to those teams. And I think we're on our way. Right now, I'd say we're a playoff contender. But we have to get to this conversation of being a Super Bowl contender. And if we go out there and we can beat the Chiefs at home and show the rest of the NFL that you're not coming into Ford Field and you're not going to beat us here at Ford Field, I'm sold in. This Lions team has a ton of potential. And just because I, I, I'm not happy with the way that they've played, I'm happy with the victories. I'm very happy with this team's performance so far. Uh, just getting the, in the production of the W's. Not so much in the stats and all that. Although, uh, we're the only team in NFL history through three weeks to have four different receivers with 100 yards and at least one TD. So, we are making history. And like, like I said, it's not it's not been super pretty. But, like I care. it's Detroit. I'm not looking for um, fancy plays, showcase talent, all that fancy mumbo-jumbo. It's Detroit. We're gritty. Um, these wins probably won't come easy. We just need to get W's. And it's good that through three weeks, we are still undefeated because this is the hardest part of our schedule. If the level that you're not coming into Ford Field and you're not going to beat us here at Ford Field, I'm sold in. This Lions team has a ton of potential. And just because I, I, I'm not happy with the way that they've played, I'm happy with the victories. I'm very happy with this team's performance so far. Uh, just getting the, in the production of the W's. Not so much in the stats and all that. Although, uh, we're the only team in NFL history through three weeks to have four different receivers with 100 yards and at least one TD. So, we are making history. And like, like I said, it's not it's not been super pretty. But, like I care, it's Detroit. I'm not looking for um, fancy plays, showcase talent, all that fancy mumbo-jumbo. It's Detroit. We're gritty. Um, these wins probably won't come easy. We just need to get W's. And it's good that through three weeks, we are still undefeated because this is the hardest part of our schedule. If the Lions win or lose against Kansas City, and I think that, you know, they're going to have a little bit better of a chance to beat Kansas City than a lot of people are giving them credit for. And I have gone on record of picking Kansas City. But they're going to leave it all out there on that field this Sunday because next Sunday they don't have to work. They got that whole week off to rest. And then they have two weeks to prepare to play Green Bay. This Lions team is going to be special, fellas and girls, if you're watching. I am more interested to see how this team plays against Green Bay than I am Kansas City Chiefs. However, I do expect this to be a very competitive game, but um, I guess I've rambled on long enough. I'm not trying to make the video too long. Like I, I just I just come out of my head. I don't script anything. I have a general idea what I talk about and fire away. So this has gone on longer than I thought it was going to go on for, but uh, leave it down in the comments. What do you want to see the Lions do better? I